everybody i hope everyone is well out there in the world welcome to my channel thank you for coming back or thank you for dropping by whichever it is so what have i got for you today it's an unboxing that i've been holding on to for a few days so it's really time to get it out there to you you've seen the picture you've seen the title do you know what it is though well if you don't i don't either because it's brand new to me as well as it is to you it is this Miss Flow. Miss Flow is a period subscription box and it's similar, I guess, to Pink Parcel, but not quite the same. What makes it not quite the same? Well, I'll tell you. But first, you've got to give me a big old thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell and share this video left, right and centre. Okay, let's get into the video. So, what makes Miss Flow different from other beauty subscription boxes, from other period boxes? let's find out. The main difference is that you don't pick just tampon or towel, you pick by your flow. So if you have a light flow you pay $12.99 plus $2.95 PMP. If you have a medium flow you pay $13.99 plus $2.95 PMP and if you have a heavy flow you pay $14.99 plus $2.95 PMP. Compared to Pink Parcel which is £13 for everyone, if you've got a heavy flow that comes out quite a lot more expensive. Even if you've got a light flow, that's three pounds more. So what do they have that Pink Parcel doesn't? We're gonna find out in this box. For a light flow, it's essential for three days, which is nine tampons or towels, or six tampons and three towels plus three panty liners. Your regular flow includes essentials for up to four days, so 15 tampons or towels, or 10 tampons and five towels, plus five panty liners. Heavy flow includes essentials for seven days, which is 21 tampons or towels, or 14 tampons and seven towels, plus seven panty liners. The box isn't suitable for getting through your letterbox, it's a bit too fat. You can change your delivery date and you can put the box on hold. How are we going to compare this to Pink Parcel? Right, I'm going to go and count my last month's box so we can find out how many tampons, etc., I got in that. So I've just checked my Pink Parcel for March to see what is inside and I have 21 tampons, a mixture of light to heavy, I have 5 night pads and 5 panty liners. That is what I get for my 12 99 plus all the products and I feel like the product value is about £40 this month, I can't remember. That is comparable with the heavy flow of Miss Flow which costs £18. In that one you would get 21 tampons plus seven panty liners obviously so you get a couple more panty liners but you don't get your night towels but it depends if you use them or if you had a mix you get 14 tampons and seven night towels but either way it's still less in terms of product than pink parcel so miss flow are going to have to do something pretty pretty amazing to make this box worth more than a pink parcel so far pink parcel win Shall we find out what's inside? So it comes like this, inside, or it comes inside a plastic bag and it's very discreet so nobody's gonna know what's inside. Ooh. And it looks like this, so it's quite nice packaging. What's this? This is March 2018 Miss Flow Box and it tells you all of the things that are inside. It's just got some kind of like badger. No. Lion? Something? I don't know. What is that? You tell me. It doesn't have any prices on, which sucks, but you know me, I will find the prices and I'll put them on the screen for you. It does smell really nice. This is what it looks like inside. <laughs> I'm so good at throwing everything on the floor today. So, these are tampons and things. So I'm going to put them to one side. And then this is what's in the box. Just to say there is a discount on this, which is 15%. Um, and it's I'll put I'll pop it on the screen. It's not a referral code for me, it's just what anyone can get when they go online. And I chose to get the lightest box because I just want to see what's in here more than getting extra tampons and things. I did get, I think it's about 199 discount. So I didn't quite pay full price for this. Um, I think I'm glad I didn't. Right. This is probably what smells really nice. It's a mini wheat warmer. Now this is actually really good for me, so I'm quite impressed, but this is maybe more personal use. 
these wheat warmers inside they've got like beans and you can um, put them in the microwave or you can put them in the freezer so you put them in the microwave and they get a bit warm like for 20 seconds 30 seconds I can't remember exactly but it depends on the size I'm sure it will tell you on here heat for no more than 40 seconds and then you can warm your hands with them you can put them on a saw patch put them on your neck or whatever and it says place in a sealed plastic bag and freeze for two hours and you can use it as cold so sometimes hot helps sometimes cold helps so this is actually quite useful for me because I, as you may have gathered don't know if I've ever mentioned it before I do suffer with a pain condition so having these I already have like quite a long one but this is like another little cute one that would be nice actually like if I needed to tuck it under my bra strap or something to hold it because I get quite a lot of pain around here on my shoulder my big one is far too big for that I'm kind of impressed however I don't know if everyone would like this but I guess if you're thinking along the terms of period and then putting it on your stomach or something or on your back depending where you get period pain but is it a bit too small for the average period I don't know tell me because it's been a while since I've had cramps Normally I use a hot water bottle which is bigger than this. So I'd say personally, I think this is a bit too small. Although obviously, you know, how big can it be in this box? Well, it could be bigger, it could be bigger. But let, let me know what you think. Okay. What does it say about my mini hand warmer? A really cute pocket sized wheat warmer. Wheat and lavender grown in the Cotswold fill these locally made cuties. Ideal as a hand or pocket warmer tucked inside clothing, especially good on the go or to take with you to the office. Next, we've got this. Oh, I've heard of this company, Mallow and Marsh. I'm sure I didn't get this in a Degusta box or something, and I was a bit sad. Something like that. But anyway, coconut marshmallow bar under 100 calories. Oh, it's so squidgy. <laughs> it actually says snack squidgy on the back. I'm tempted to open this. I might open this in a minute. Okay, this is what it looks like inside. It's got the marshmallow, it's got coconut bits. It is nice. 100% natural, gooey deliciousness. It's got sugar, desiccated coconut, beef gelatin, so obviously not vegetarian or vegan, natural vanillaing, not suitable for customers with an allergy to peanuts, other nuts, egg, milk, or soya. It is nice. Uh uh. I like that. What does it say about my tasty friend here? A velvety smooth vanilla gourmet marshmallow naturally rolled in crisp coconut flakes making a 100% natural creamy marshmallow bar. Perfect for dunking a hot chocolate or enjoying as an afternoon treat. Just bring me sweets, I love it. All right. No, actually this is what smells nice and this is amazing. Like when, when the box came and I opened the outer packaging, I was like, oh, what is that? And it's this, it's grapefruit and jasmine. And it's a little Miss Flo candle. But I guess that's made for Miss Flo for their brand every month. Our aromatherapy soy candles are made from the finest natural waxes, soot-free wicks and carefully blended essential oils for a clean burn and true long-lasting fragrance to enhance your home. This lovely Miss Flo candle is reviving and stimulating. The brightness of the zesty grapefruit blends perfectly with relaxing jasmine. We get a tea bag, just like the other box. It's a cooker tea bag, chamomile, vanilla, and manuka honey, and a soothing dip in organic pool of harm. Naturally caffeine free and ethically sourced. It's got licorice root, manuka honey flavor, vanilla pod, vanilla flavor, infused in freshly boiled water for 15 minutes. I always think we do not use, boil our tea bags for long enough, you know, to get the full flavor. Unwind with a blissful cup of silky golden tea, enriched with chamomile, exotic vanilla pods, and sweet honey. Okay, this. I'm very excited about because you know how I love a mask. Have you noticed I like masks quite a bit? So we've got this from spacemask.com which I've never had a space mask before. Interstellar relaxation. This little pouch contains a self-heating eye mask. Oh my favourite because you know anything to get rid of these bags and self-heating I've never tried that before which will transport you to another dimension. Relieving tiredness, eye strain and many other earthly tensions. Oh, I could do with that today. The warmth comes alive as soon as you open it. So make sure you're fully reclined and ready for lift off. And it goes around your ears. Within a couple of minutes, you'll feel it heat up. 15 minutes of otherworldly warmth. It has essence of jasmine and iron powder. Okay, this is a mini review in the making. You're going to see this again. Happy about that. 
These magical jasmine infused sleeping space masks gently warm once they come into contact with the air. These handy masks are perfect for use any time of the day, whether it's 15 minute time out on your lunch break or unwinding before you go to bed. Relax, unwind and catch some Z's. Two things left. One is this spa bath with lavender Melise Weddings. It's like a test tube here of bath crystals with with lavender in, I guess. A beautiful botanical bath tea in a lovely glass-like tube, a blend of Epsom salts, nourishing dead sea salts, and dried whole lavender buds. Epsom salts are really good for your body for releasing aches, releasing aches and pains? That's not right. For helping to ease aches and pains. So I'm gonna give that a try. Our last item is this L'Oreal Paris. And it's a super liner, smoke, smoke is me? I've never heard of this product. It says it allows you to create, create an intense smoky eye in one stroke with a precision tip. You can line your eye whilst the rounded foam helps blend the color across your lid. Okay. Well, we've got to open this up then, haven't we? This is brown smoke. Anyone ever heard of this? Oh, I see. I thought it was going to be thin then. Okay, so it looks like it looks like this. So I guess that is not a very precise line if you were after that. And then if you do it on a side, it's got a very slight coppery shimmer to it. It's almost more like a eyeshadow you do get a bolder line if you press hard but that is me pressing hard to get a bolder line and of course that means that it um, is quite thick so it depends on the kind of line you want I can't really imagine doing eyeliner with that because to really get a consistent color you have to run it over quite a few times maybe for eyeshadow or maybe for like under your waterline I'm going to give it a go, but I can't say this is the kind of product I'd pick for myself. Not sure. We're not sure about that. And I'm wondering if it's a bit old. Because I've been looking quite a lot of L'Oreal products lately and I haven't seen this. But maybe, let's give it the benefit of the doubt, let me look it up first. So far, this box is not worth £16 to me. Compared to Pink Parcel, this box is just... It's not enough in the products and what's inside isn't enough either but let's try and add it up and I'll get back to you okay so I'm back I had to do quite a bit of investigating but here I am so I've added it all up and the grand total is doo -doo 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 -doo, 21 pounds and 57 pence of course that is for the products the actual extra products in the box not for the tampons and pads whatever so £21.57, you have got the cost of your box back. In fact, I was wrong about postage and packaging. Since the beginning of this year, the postage and packaging is now £1.95 a month. It's just their website hasn't been changed to reflect that. So that makes the box £15, £16 and £17 respectively, instead of £16, £17, £18. So if you see me talk about that at other points in this video and think, why is she saying that? And it's different on the screen, that's why. Oh, washing machine, shut up. Shut up, why is it making this noise? We have got over the value of the of the box back in the items, so that is okay. It's not out of this world, but again, it's not terrible. It's just that the initial cost of the box still feels a bit high. They do talk about how they are a new box to market, so I'm sure that in the long term the box price might come down. Although ten, usually boxes start cheaper and get more expensive, like Pink Parcel used to be I think £10.99 or something a month and now it's £12.99. I don't know, what do you think about that? Do you think that £15 is too much to pay for a box? You get less tampons and the products inside cost less, or less sanitary products and the rest cost less. But are the things really nice? That is the other question. So, this Miss Flow candle, 
all of their candles that they create for their boxes you can buy them on their website and they are worth four pounds each so that's quite nice at least you can rebuy them it's not like if you really enjoy it, it's not like you can just that's it you can't get one ever again you can get this that is nice this which as you can see is empty <laughs> I had to have some snacks while I was looking everything up um, you can buy them from Sainsbury's a full size product this is also a full size product you can buy them from cotswoldlavender.co.uk I do like that spacemask.com it's got quite good reviews and I'm really looking forward to trying that L'Oreal Super Liner although I thought it might be super old um, I looked it up and thanks to Willow Biggs, I'll pop her channel down below, it made me think about this. And this product is one year and 10 months old. It's got a 24 month shelf life on it. So I've got a couple of months to use it. Surely it's 24 months regardless whether it's open or not open, right? I don't know, is it, does it count from open time or not open time? My little brain can't remember. It does still show these on the L'Oreal website, but it directs you to buy it from Amazon. So I do still think this is not a product that isn't really in use anymore. I see reviews on it from like 2015. I'm not sure if I'd actually use this, so I might actually just put it in my giveaway box. Can I put something in the giveaway box if I think that the date's going to go on it? Should I check everything that I've got in my giveaway part for dates? And if it's going to be over the time on here, does that mean I can't put them in there? Or is it time once it's opened? Like, do I have two years from now? I don't know, all of these questions, all of these questions are hurting my brain. These spa bath salts are made by a company called Melly's Weddings. I don't know if you can just see that on the bottom. You can have them customized and stuff. So yeah, it looks quite nice. Obviously there's like no ingredients on here. So if you weren't sure about what was suitable you might want to go and check out their Etsy page and look at all the ingredients before you put get in a bath if you're worried and that is everything so how do I feel about this box well it doesn't beat pink parcel you do get more sanitary items in pink parcel for 13 pounds than you do in here for 15 pounds value of the stuff in pink parcel is higher especially if you're going to have a higher price point you need to impress us more to get us to stick with you above someone else the box does seem to be catered to things that will help relax you and soothe you around your period which is what it says on the tin isn't it so i don't think i'm going to get this box again or at least not anytime soon it's interesting to have a look into it and see what it's all about and yeah just to get to know it a bit i am I'm looking forward to using my hand warmer though. So I think I actually picked a good month for myself personally because I enjoyed that mallow bar as well. So let me know what you think down below. I'm always interested to hear what you think of different boxes that aren't being looked at so much. And until you see me again next time, live every moment well and take care of yourselves each other. Bye guys.